do 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 Ah, I misspelled. <laughs> Let's fix that. Okay. Hi, people! I'm going to go ahead and set the win count. <laughs> We're doing a first 50 with Shiro, bro, so this is gonna be awesome. Uh, it's always good to play with him. It's been a long time, though, so I wanna see how this goes. Um, we'll, we'll keep it as is just in case, because the room creation for two people seems to be a bit messy with me. It's a bit strange. I'll be back in a moment.
Alright, hello everyone, welcome to the stream. Uh, hey Ashira, what's up? Welcome, welcome, hello there. I'm excited to get going and start playing. Um... Alright then, let's get started. I think it's about time. About time to get ready to roll. I'm ready when you are. So whenever you put the ready, I'll just get it started. I'm making this a big room because it, the game tends to freak out and disconnect us when I make a small room. So uh, we're going to see if this works out instead. If it doesn't, we'll just try to remake the room and see what happens. Alright, let's go. Good luck and fun to you. Hopefully it's... Yeah, cool, okay. Alright. Let's have a good one. It's been a long time since we've played, so I'm excited to see how this goes. Hey, at least we got like proper music. <laughs> right, Evan. What am I gonna do with this? Sport isn't really set up for harassment. Never mind. I've not seen that coming. That's a nice throw. However, his chain isn't ready now. Oops! That's troublesome. Oh my gosh, I nearly missed that. That was bad. That's main check? I see. Or the screen. Hey. Yeah, I don't know if this is enough. It's a dangerous! Says. Says, uh. This thing got <laughs> Hello there, welcome to the stream. What's up? Did I say we welcome to you, Maka, as well? I'm sorry if I didn't. Hello there, welcome, welcome. Um. The Tetris is in your dreams. Uh, not here. That, that, I'll tell you that, it's not here. Okay, wow, Shiro, very good there. Not sure how aggressive you're gonna be, so I'm gonna have to look out for that and see how that goes. Okay, here's this. Pull up. Pull up. There we go. Okay, got you there. Right. What is next? More GTR, obviously. Didn't think he'd be able to recover from that position. I did leave my bat in a bit of a my chain in a bit of a bad state after that, so I'd need to be a little more careful with the way that I reuse my resources and the way that I position everything such that I do not end up wasting too many resources as a result of my actions. Um, so it's it's sort of like something to look out for on both ends. Setting it off and setting it up in the first place. Okay, he's got full chain ready, so I should not provoke him too much. Otherwise, he can just set that off and uh, there'll be no worries for him. Uh, 
Okay, I need another purple on the left hand side to finish my chain. <laughs> See, I'm not good enough to be like those Japanese players where they can build the stuff on top of their transition last, usually. I need to get the right pieces for it, otherwise it's not good. Just wanted to clear this since it's not nice. I do. Ishni Sam. Yes, full chain ready as well. His red's cut, unfortunately. Mm. It would have been a 9 otherwise, which is the same amount as mine. Interesting. I wonder if it would have been enough. I'm not sure. I am really not sure. We'd have to have seen, probably. I know I criticize Poker a lot for this, but I think it's because he doesn't seem to solve the situation fast enough. I well, once once he gets to a high level, I think it's okay for him for him to make the decision because I've been making it and I get away with it pretty easily. It's just again, it's where the focus is. It's um he's not focusing enough on fixing that up, even though it's a bad issue. So. Ten is in a bad state now. That's also a really good harass. That's really impressive. Well done, Shiro. Um, yeah, no, this is really bad. I just need to catch him off guard at this point. If we start one chaining. Yep, and then it blocks him. Good. There we go. Gotcha. Oh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I thought I had him, but not quite. Ah, oh, S2, hi! Ready, go, go! Accelerate! Diamond Cutie! Anyway, hi. Uh, what's up? <laughs> Thank you for subbing as always. Your support is hugely, I am hugely grateful for. So, uh, hello. Also, welcome to uh, other people, but I can't look right now, so I'll look after. My chain building doesn't seem as solid as it was yesterday, but that's okay. I'll do my best anyway. Is that full chain? Oh dear, I didn't see that. I thought that would link up, but it was garbage. Oops. Hey, Elite Tube, LT the Gamer, welcome everyone. Pad stream when- Hey, Nita King, I tried to stream that earlier, actually. Um, not earlier today, but like, I tried to stream the ranking dungeon, and apparently it doesn't let you capture the ranking dungeon. Like, it just- it just disables stuff. Um, because I figured it out because I tried to take a screenshot as well, and it doesn't work. So, um, that's interesting to note. But, I've set up the stuff to actually be able to capture the screen. There'll be no audio, but I'll just do it alongside other stuff as well, so. We might get some of that soon. Because there's been some difficult dungeons around, so I'd be uh, happy to tackle those on the stream. That's a nice response. Fighting for board space. Right. Decided to take that interestingly enough. I think we can limit him further now. And then finish him now. Ah, I misdropped. It's okay. We still have time. We can even follow up with this if we really wanted to. Right. Good. Did you already roll in the collab? Oh yeah, the on monster hunter collab. I rolled it in it. I used the rest of my stones on it. I've been waiting for this event. Um, I managed to get, uh, 100% for, um, blind resists for weapons. So I can just swap out, um, 
my assists when I need to, because like coins don't really matter anymore, because you can have like a billion of them. I have like 297 million or something like that. Um, so I can just swap out my uh, assists when I would like to. Um, this is a lot, but at the same time, I don't know. I can't tell how much of his chain is ready. It's so hard to read, which is really cool. Like, the fact that he's able to make chains like that uh, and get away with it is really impressive. But, like, I cannot read it at all. Okay, that's a full chain. Oh, never mind, that's a full chain. I See, I can't read them. Nah, I don't have enough. <laughs> My green's cut and everything. And it was not big enough anyway. Um, so I've got 100% for blind resist. I've, and then I managed to get the weapon assists for 60% poison and 60% uh, what was the other one? Jammers and bombs. So I'm guessing when I enter those dungeons I'll just have uh, one of my monsters that have uh, those resists naturally, I guess. Um, I'm gonna try and build up magic stones for one more roll, and we'll see how that goes, because that would be good. Where? Okay, your chain isn't ready unless you use your yellow red. Okay. What? Never mind. Oh dear. That's a bit dangerous. So overall, I'm pretty happy with my rolls. Um, what is- Oh, hi everyone, sound! Well, welcome to the stream. What is everyone I follow? What is with everyone I follow streaming tonight? Oh, wow. Really? <laughs> oh, that's a nice dig. The greens unfortunately didn't reach though. Is there something going on tonight I do not know about? <laughs> Greetings from the blue skies of the country, United States. Hello there! Uh, did you roll in it? Neat, everyone's playing tonight, it's great. Any 7 star rolls? I... I don't think I got any 7 stars, I only remember getting 6 stars. No, I, I, unfortunately not. Oh, this is a really nice multiple stack. I really like this, I can do so much with this now. I could have two doubled as well, but it looks like he's going for it. Oh, that's a three. Yeah. It's just a bit. That's really that was really fast. That's impressive. But it's kind of a dick. He's got a three chain response already. Oh my gosh, Shiro, where have you been training? I didn't realize you were still like trying to keep up with all this. This is really good. I wonder if he's been playing much lately. I I don't know. Maybe he has been playing a lot. But, um, I, I know he's watched matches, so maybe he's learning from watching, but at the same time, like, just... Wow, this is great. This is really... Mm, and he dug as well, okay. Good job. Good job. See how much I can count for you. Mm-hmm, <laughs> that's really good, I'm excited. Times so in six rolls? Oh, nice. That blows from $30 pack, that's pretty good. Oh hey, gozaimasu! Although it's cold Nichiwa over here because it's 1:55 p.m. for me. But hey, welcome to the stream. Cheese it up! I saw you did. So, oh, oh, sorry. Okay, yeah, I'll wait because something must have happened. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh no! Don't tell me it's gonna be. I swear, if it's another one. Wow, okay. Oh, <gasps> no! This is so stupid! <laughs> I thought it was another all clear, but I think I'm just bad at reading chains at all in this game. I thought it was another all clear, I must be blind. Oh no. Oh. Yeah, okay, I'm blind. <laughs> I wish Gungo collab would come so I can finally buy Kuryu's Lipsy. What exactly is uh, that for? I 
Okay, this will leave my chain in a good state too. I really like this one. Nice. Seven is a MP monster in Gunko collab, right? It's not morning there, I'm up later than I thought, yeah. Well, uh, hi Zekulin, welcome to the stream, hello there. Active is 40% HP heal for six turns and one turn haste. Oh my gosh, that's really good. That's really good. Uh, with 12 turn cooldown, that's, wow, that's so good. So you can get two of her and loot the healing actives for cover 40% heal per turn. No, that's insane, wow. I, I totally understand what you mean now. That is great. I still have a lot of MP saved up, so like, I don't know, I could go for something at some point as well. Whenever this stuff comes around. This uses a lot on my part, but it sure is not ready yet. There we go, okay. Goo goo! Hello. <laughs> goo goo to you too. Sad thing is you need 1.5 MP for two. Oh, really? Dang, I think I only have... I have 750, right? Oh, oh I might not, actually. No. Okay, yeah, I wouldn't have enough. I know I definitely don't have a million. Okay. Oh, I got the right piece in time! I got so lucky there. That's... Wow, okay. Nah, he would've had me. Dang. That's unfortunate, sure. I really don't like this build decision. It's not it's not a good one to go. Fall up really quick with this. Looked a little stuff there, so I just took advantage of that. Had a really big fall up as well. Oh. Okay. How do I build our shop with this again? Oh, yeah, okay, got it, got it. See, again, even I get tripped up for the build order for uh, it sometimes, and then I mess it up. So, let's do that. I can fix it now, though. <laughs> Gee, that's big. <laughs> Need the next piece. Dang. Close. I think my greens might have caught down below, though, so... I'm not sure if I would have had it off. This is a very close back and forth match right now. This is really interesting. Okay. Well, where was I going with this? Oh, I see. I, see. I forgot. I forgot how I wanted to build that. Leaving out my key for you so that I can use this as a harass if I need to, except... <gasps> it didn't lock me out. Okay, thank you. I am happy that I left the key for you out so that I could actually harass with this. So good. So good. Such happiness. Except I need four, four reds now. Oops. Oh wow, that's perfect. Gee, okay. I can cancel these reds as well to prevent the cart from occurring. So I can set up my whole chain, which gives me a more definite win. That's really good. 22 for the win. Wait, what's 22? <laughs> Hi, Pokedalga. What's up? Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Uh, off by one heart so much. It does, doesn't it? What, 25 or 20? What, what are you guys going on about? What the heck? <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
think he sees my harass, I'm just gonna build this up a little more. However, I don't wanna do too much, otherwise I'm wasting too many resources, and I'll fall behind. Oh, he wasn't ready. Dang. Uh, just watching this makes me realize how, just how important building up your chains are. I mean, I'm all over the place when, I, when it comes to building up. Absolutely, it is very important to have stuff ready. That's risky play, but it, it locked him out. Luckily. Oh, he didn't rotate correctly. Dang. Glad I harassed six chains. You know what? Six chain harasses are. You saw it perfect uh, counted, so it's a good thing I made it a six chain. <laughs> Alright, that's important. Whoa, another perfect counter. Oh my gosh. This is like what happened in the Puyo Finals. I was talking about how like there were so many perfect counters in it, it was insane. It's as if they, they just like perfectly calculated every harass they had made. And to be honest, like that probably wouldn't be too far from the truth. Right? <laughs> but um this is this is solid. Oh no, why did I hesitate for so long? I, I could have turned that into a 3 chain really easily. Dang. Okay, I'm ready. I think I could have extended by 1, but I would have needed... Oh, one more yellow, I think it would have actually been a good idea to extend. Also, oops, I don't have the purple in the right place. I needed the purple one across for my tail to work. Oops. <laughs> wow. No, man. That was great. Managed to get a hold of Puyo a uh, copy of Puyo Pop Fever. Looking forward to playing it since I'm kind of blind to Fever 1. Oh, that's awesome. English version 2? I swear. You should have the English version. It's so good. It's so good. You'll be so happy playing it. Also, this was really bad. So, oops. I'm gonna have to make this account again. Even though it would be not to save my life. Probably not. Yeah. Wait for it. Ha! It's totally dead now. Let me survive for a long time. Dang. Still terrifying and bizarre to hear. <laughs> yeah, I get it, I get it, totally. Nice one. Is the English Fever 1 translation the interesting one? I hope you enjoyed it. It's so good. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeedy. Looky, looky. My impersonations are awful. I apologize. Your ears must hurt now. <laughs> I'm reversing my chain to harass with it. I feel really small. Where is his trigger? That's my question. I think he lost it in all the uh, chaos. Ow. 
Impossible. The English version, I exp <laughs> the voice acting and the lines themselves are incredible. You should enjoy yourself with that. Absolutely. You should be having a good time with that when you get around to it. I'm just gonna set off maintain and see how he responds. I wanna see if he realizes. Ah, uh, he. Oh no, that's like a seven chain harass or something. Mine's an eight double. <laughs> he had an eight chain, oh my gosh. I don't know if he did that on purpose. Um, and had that purple out. Because it's a key for you to harass with. Or what, but um. <laughs> it was funny nonetheless. Setting up your main chain just gives the opponent more time to extend theirs, which means that they might be able to outchain you. Which is why. Oopsies! Well, that's okay, he set off too much anyway. But, um, it's important to try not to just, like, set off your main chain just because you feel like you're running out of room or something. Clear some stuff off and try to continue extending. Because much of the time, the opponent will outchain you if you just set it off, right? And I've run into that error so many times that at this point I realize that I should just clear some stuff off. Also, that's really impressive how he still made, managed to get that much to work. Jeez. Oh, la ti da Oh, la ti da you're so close with you, Yeah. The voice acting fun. Oops. Oh. Okay. Nice. Uh, I didn't even know there was voice, I've just seen some fun translation choices. Oh, well then. That's... Mm. The voices are great. <laughs> the voices are too good. Ah! Never give up. Even if you miss drop. Okay, I can set this off. Ah, uh, this is... Oh, he's only got a three chain, it's okay. Right. Oh, yeah, me that's high! He's saying is I should always have fire. <laughs> oh, hi, Void, what's up? What is Puyo Puyo? Yeah, it's Puyo Pop. Yeah, yeah, it's Puyo Pop, guys. Come on, come on. You should all know this by now. Honestly. Get with the times, yo. 
I felt extremely strange that night. That's so out of character. <laughs> That is way too big. I'm not trying to deal with that now. Oh wait, I cut my reds, dang it. I forgot that I set up my harassment. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I had forgotten about that. Sometimes you want to make a decision, then you see the opponent do something, and you think of another plan, but you had already set up that decision there. So it's just like, not good. Not a good time. Wow, that's a lot. I think one main thing Shiro needs to work on is being able to pull up immediately, not hesitating. Because the thing is, I think a lot of this time he's been letting me get to my, um, my chain. And because of that I've been able to outchain him. Unless... Oh no, I should go seven here, yeah. Because the thing is, if he had harassed me while I was up there, if he had fall off, I would have been dead already. But here, he's letting me... He's continuing to extend his main chain, and I think maybe he's not realizing the fact that I'm so sealed off. Um, and that's why he's not following up as soon as possible. Because if he could take advantage of that, I think he'd win more rounds. So, there's a thing to consider. Okay. Follow-ups were very strong in Poya Championship. Seems very important when you you all can dig so quickly. Absolutely, absolutely. That exchange was wild. It's <laughs> great stuff. Great stuff. You always had to follow up immediately, otherwise they can do like some crazy tricks to try and get themselves down. Ah, you know what, I'll take this. Alright, now I can set up, set up main chain, I believe. Oh no, that's too long. Let's not take that. I'm glad I, I figured out that I had the conversion. That's another case of I'm not actively setting up a way to respond to that. Oh, well, at first I hadn't thought of setting something up, but on the spot you need to realize the decisions or the, the placements that are available to you, because there's more options than you realize, right? And that was very snap in that moment, this is how I need to break my chain for it to actually respond um, fluidly. So maybe clip that one, because I feel like that's a really good example of using the resources you have on board in a way that you wouldn't have thought of otherwise. I think that was really solid. I'm proud of that. Very much. <laughs> it was very nice, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's conversions, really. Converting your resources so that they can perform different actions, or, like, do different things. Whatever you- I don't know <laughs> how exactly you want to say it, but 
It's along those lines, definitely. Hey! Dang it. <laughs> that wasn't quite there. Ow, oh, jeez. Oh, Mary Dingo is eight minutes ago. I must have accidentally clicked off of the uh, my activity feed. But hey, thank you for the follow. Very much. Thanks. Oh, dang. I thought that was going to be an all clear, so I decided to do this. Oh, yes, it's a double green. I'm like, Wait, I used the red, so I don't think that's going to link up. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, no, the green's cut as well. Dang, it would have been good otherwise. It wouldn't have been enough, but it still would have been nice to see. Oh, well, that's okay. Not all your plans will work. You'll find in this game. A lot of the time, your plan won't work at all. Unless it's like completely and utterly indestructible. Like, there's no way around it. He can set off main chain if he wants to. Okay, he didn't decide to. I want to on. That's where you get. That's a thing. You, uh, you, another thing you have to realize is if your opponent does have those full ops ready, because if they have them, it's probably safer just to go for the um, main chain. There. If he had gone for main chain, I would have had to rush to get my my chain ready. Um, and even though I might have won, at least you have more chance of surviving in that case. Oops. Oh, that's a four, isn't it? Okay. Oh no, it's a three. I can count, I swear. Alright. We are going to go ahead and try to disable him a bit more. With this. And if he does end up responding, we, we uh, have our main chain ready anyway. But we're just gonna destroy things because they're fun. <laughs> 24! Yeah. Nice, right? I I realize right now I've been really attentive. Like I've been able to catch on to when he's not ready and stuff. I'm proud. I I'm not even trying to focus on my observational skill, but I think as a result of like the sorts of um decisions I've been making, I've been able to just like catch on to, okay, I should look at the opponent's board for a little bit just to figure out whether or not they're in an okay state. Because again, it's not about being able to know everything that's happening on their board. It's being able to identify the options that they have um, and how they can respond and how you can disable them from responding in a certain way so that you can ensure that you're going to win. Right? So I'm really proud of how I've been handling these situations so far. Honestly. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Thank you very much. Okay. Not sure what exactly the thought process behind that one was, but uh, main chain, wall fire main chain as well. Except I've built up a lot more in this case. Oh, uh, it casually explains observation whilst destroying opponent. I don't understand how I've been able to do this right now. At the moment, I've been playing a lot better than usual. M maybe this signifies the fact that I'm actually getting better. Uh, maybe all I had to do was watch some, some Puyo Championship 
matches. Because honestly, I, I don't know. Maybe I did just like kind of directly take some stuff out of that and go, hey, I can apply this to my playstyle, even without thinking. Just... Wow. Again, I just feel a lot more flexible with what I'm able to do. I feel a lot more in control of my board state now. Things just feel a lot more fluid. Like this, look at it. Wow. Yeah, okay, I'll have to go with that. As much as I don't like to break it in that way, because that stops it from being a lane, doesn't it? It, it, it ends up powering instead of actually being an eight. Like, oh wow, he fixed that! Oh, I didn't realize! Nice! I need. I think I needed that as an extra length. I wonder if having it as an extra length rather than power... Is there a way I could do it without cutting it? That's why I was like so concerned and why I put it there. I think if I just put it on the left hand side, put the yellow on the left, I might have been able to have it as the link instead and not have it cut anything. Perhaps. Alright, well that's... That's important to think about. Oops, I missed dropped. Well, there we go, now I fixed it. If you don't want to use a harass, sometimes you just, you know, just clear it. Sometimes you can just clear it. And then everything's fixed. Also, this is a lot. Uh oh. Uh oh, what will I do? I could have had a fortune if he had given me the next two pieces. Please say you give Yoshi more study material, right? Please. <laughs> it's, um, what do you call it? Indirect learning? Is it called indirect? I don't remember if it was called indirect. It was... I don't know. There's a proper term for it. I think it's indirect learning. But at the same time, that just feels not right to me. Uh, but yeah, just, just being able to watch and absorb information without actively thinking about actually trying to... Actually, actually, actually everything now. No, without actually trying to learn, you're just kind of intaking information. Intaking information. Oh. My words are a bit mm, scrambled right now, but you know. <laughs> I've learned more from Puyo watching than playing. It's interesting, isn't it? Um, and it definitely is important still to uh, practice. I. Mm, it depends on what you mean. If it's learning, I think... When you're trying to learn something and gain the knowledge, I think watching is the way to go. Whereas, to actually get better and to improve at that thing, that's how, that's when practice comes in. So I think that's... Because it's hard to like, learn what you have to do by playing. Like definitely you have to experiment to a certain extent. But um, watching opens up options that you wouldn't have thought of yourself. And it's that sort of thing. Oh, I didn't mean to. Oh, dang, I needed a green though. That would have still worked if I'd gotten a green, but I didn't mean to unnecessarily extend. If if uh, I didn't miss drop, I would have actually been able to set that off as is. But it's interesting that that was still an extension opportunity. He does think for a while about some of the things that he's doing. It's interesting. Oh, this is long. <laughs> the thing that I'm noticing is that you have a balance between speed and efficiency. I find that I'm hitting a ceiling where if I go any faster, dot dot dot, gotta wait. I could have three chained this, but at the same time I feel like that's an unnecessary amount. Since I'm already disabling him from getting to his trigger, it's okay to just stop there. 
If I go any farther, it might prompt him to do something larger, which is not really what I want. He can go for... not main chain, because he's another purple. Okay. I become susceptible to making mistakes frequently. If I try to play more accuracy, I leave myself open to counter attack easily, but you're able to balance everything together to be able to handle almost anything comes at you. It's fascinating to observe. Yeah, I think that's one of the hardest things. Balancing those two things is difficult because the thing is, logically, you just want to go as slow as possible to make the best decisions possible, right? Um, accuracy over speed, whenever you can. But at the same time, when you have the pressure of an opponent, um, you tend to speed up to try and make sure that you're keeping up with them, which totally makes sense, right? Um, but it's just, once you practice enough, you'll be able to gradually gain speed. Uh, over time, right? Okay. I was scared that there was an all clear that I was gonna miss, but it's okay. It's fine. Everything is digestible. Okay, here's one. I'm gonna go for main chain because, well, that's the only option I have. But the other thing is that he used quite a few resources, so I'm not sure if he's able to rebuild. He needs two blues if he's gonna go for the extension. Nah, he's gonna go for the main chain. He wasn't able to get the blues for his tail to work. Oh, they ended up being an off anyway. Oh, it's a part of Dang. I don't know if I can quite say the same with all the form research and sim practice I do, but watching has taught me some very interesting things that I wouldn't have thought to look for. Yeah, I think that's one of the things that's really brought um, me to this point as well. It's the fact that after watching those matches, I've kind of learned how to do certain forms or, or certain shapes a bit better now. Um, because I know that I can do a certain thing without having to worry about it. Or that it's safe to go for something because... And then I figure out the reasons for it, right? A lot of it is trying to find reasons for why people do what they do. Without those reasons, it doesn't really make sense. And you're just following, like, a format that, that won't do anything for you. Again, you, you need to know the reasons behind things, otherwise that information is completely useless. So don't be afraid to ask questions for like, you know, why did you do this? Why did you do that? That's why right now I'm trying to... Because usually people tell me, oh, you're not commentating enough and like, we don't know what you're trying to do. And here I'm trying to say, I made this decision because, for example, Shira's chain is blocked off or like... This is the thing though, I think you need to be good at observing the opponent to be able to give reasons to your decisions. Otherwise, it's a bit difficult and you just say, well, well, I had to clear off my board so I made a harass. Which is a perfectly valid reason, and usually that's the case, but I feel like it's a bit... It, it sounds a little more cool to say, oh, I actually noticed that Shiro did this. Such as the fact that he needs a lot of pieces to finish his chain at this point in time. Never mind, I... And you'll be able to tell when I misread because I'm saying it out loud as well. So at least you guys know that like, okay, I thought this was the case, and the reason that I've done this and ended up losing was because I misjudged his chain. I, I thought there was a few more pieces he needed, but maybe not. See? It's interesting to, to see what you don't spot. And if you say it out loud as well, you're able to recognize, you know, I've said that a few times now, that must be something that I'm flawed at at the moment. Uh, I've misread a few times, but I'm not entirely sure if there's a pattern to what I'm misreading. I guess I'm not seeing where his trigger is much of the time, but that comes down to playstyle, because Shiro's chain building is, is quite interesting. It's not... He still does GTR and stuff, but a lot of the way that he extends is not natural, uh, and not as normal as you'd see with other players' chains. So I think that's really fascinating. It's one of the really interesting uh, points to bring up when you're fighting him. That's main chain. Can I get a couple? Oh, my yellow cuts. My blue cuts. Everything cuts. This is... Uh... <laughs> it still works! It still works! Okay, sure, I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, I think it's really good to be able to note everything that I'm doing now, though. And being able to read some things. I'm really proud of that at this point in time. I think it'll be a bit more engaging to be able to talk about everything. Leonite Fury, thank you for the follow. Thank you very, very much. 
Okay, so next up we're gonna... Oh, what is he building now? I don't know. See, again, that just looks so weird, right? I don't... It's not something you'd normally see someone do. Okay, that's also just when you get confused and don't know where to go with your chain, I think. <laughs> I have a question on why you didn't pull up an earlier chain. Clipped. I was very excited for the two double, but you didn't fire it. Okay. Well, um, after this, if you guys want to clip any situations that you'd like me to go over, clip them and then I'll go, okay, this is why I didn't do this. I think I'll be able to explain my thoughts if I have... I don't know. If it's not too long after it's happened. So after this set, I should be able to give reasons for things. I hope. I would really hope so. That's his... Hmm, this is really bad. This position's bad. I shouldn't go for this harass because he can just set off main chain. And he did, so... Good. I just went for it because I didn't know what to do with my chain. I just kind of... Messy. Hi, Blue Gamer. What's up, OP? What's OP? Not me. I'm gonna drink some water. Okie doke. Uh, three chain here, he can set off main chain, oops, this is a bit early for harasses. I think I'm firing stuff off a little too early just because I have the opportunity to, I shouldn't be doing so. My fault. Played online and got three wins and lost seven in total. Awesome, well done. That is great. Glad to hear you're making progress. That you finally convinced yourself to do that? I don't know. <laughs> well, it's definitely a good step to take. Venturing online. What has he got? It's a bit hard to tell. Okay, that's a free turn. That's full chain. Nah. Most of the losses are from higher ranks. Yeah, yeah, no, that's completely fair then. Nice. Online is tough, be proud of three wins. Absolutely. Take whatever you can. And of course, for your losses, try to look into, you know, why did I lose? There must be reasons behind it. There must be reasons. Maybe it might just be something as simple as, oh, okay, I wasn't able to chain as fast as them, and that's completely fine. At least he pulled onto the fact that maybe the next thing you should ca you should try work on is chaining speed, right? Yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. See what I mean, though? Like, even I just take some time to think about what to do next as well. It's better than just rushing ahead and not being able to do anything afterwards. You know that you can't make a I had something ready, I was preparing something, but it was a little too high up. Uh, that was my build. Ranked is a big meanie, so that's pretty good. Yeah, that's right. Making progress? That's really awesome. Keep that up. Alright. There, that's just me pay not paying attention to the opponent. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't pay attention to the opponent's board. Which might have been what Shiro was doing earlier, but I think he's a little more cautious now. I'm also getting like a billion Discord notifications, so I wonder what's up with that. I'm being a little inflexible with the way I'm building stuff now. I'm a bit too locked down one time. Uh, I think this is okay though. He's got a big harass build card. That's a 4 though, isn't it? Ah, okay, never mind, I'm not okay. He's got a 5 ready. I've only got a 6. 
You'll have a 6 after he builds that up and he has some power around the full flame pressing. So I have to get something off really quick. Nah. <laughs> not possible, not possible. I think I need a, a 6 or something. Uh, I think you're streaming PvP champions when it comes to PC. That sounds great. Like me to spam this ping sure it's make it fair. <laughs> nah, nah. Don't worry, dude. The things aren't distracting me. They're more just... Oh, okay, they're happening. Well, okay, I guess. I wonder what that's all about. <laughs> spam. <laughs> nah. It's alright. I'm sure our chains are distracting enough. This is a nice way to use your tail to um, prevent the opponent from killing you, but at the same time, my tail is not in a good state, so that's a negative. A pro and a con of my build. Nice thing is that I'm able to use what I have quite effectively, so let's keep this on. Alright, that's big. I think he was trying to read to see how much I had, if, to see if it was okay to just set off what he had. Eh, it keeps me alive, right? <laughs> Not by much, though. Yeah, he'll be able to follow up really soon and all that. Another thing I'm noticing, I tend to make the mistake of admiring and overestimating my chain. Oh, okay. Let's see. Let's see. This is a really bad build. Do not build your chains like this, please. <laughs> Don't follow my lead for this chain. This is a bad build. This is nice, I like the way I put off this ball though. Okay, you know what, I fixed everything up by giving myself really good decisions. Uh oh. Or making good decisions, not giving myself good decisions, that doesn't make any sense. That's a 10. I think I have a 9? I don't know if the red's a link off. Yeah, they don't. Okay, fair enough. When I pull off a chain, I sort of expect it to cripple my opponent into defeat and don't build my next chain properly or at all. Yeah, no, you always have to be ready to, like, have a follow-up just in case. Because you never know when the opponent might overwhelm you. Huh, I wonder what I'm doing wrong. I think I'm losing a couple points. I think I need to realize what I'm doing wrong at this point. Am I using too many resources and harasses now? And he's able to respond to the main chain. Maybe that, that, that might be one thing. Be careful with my chain. Really focus on getting my chain down as well as harasses. Okay, that's what I'll do. Some of these rounds you're matching or countering the opponents. I'm slowly reading through this. I'm getting through it. Okay. I thought I'd be able to pop off the one chain first. Dang. <laughs> of course. Nah, I, I had a really, really nice uh, extension, but I wasn't able to set off my full chain yet because, as you could see, I was missing one color. It's not ready, I don't think. Unless it's something, like, out of the ordinary again that I couldn't read. You're matching a counter in the opponent's chains entirely while preparing for the possibility of a counter. It sort of feels like a bad habit that I have. I think a lot of people just have a lot of trouble being able to realize what they can do with the pieces on their board after they finish their main chain. They have trouble building their second door. Um, and it's definitely a skill that takes time to improve. I don't think there's really any real advice you could give to it aside from like, I don't know, 
Yeah, I, I honestly don't know. It's all about just improvising based on what you have. It's always situational. There's really no form that you can follow or any rules that you can strictly... There might be some rules behind it, actually, but... And for the most part, it's just, hey, what can you do with what you have? Be creative. Um, so, yeah. But, yeah, breaking the habit of, like, just sitting there and watching your chain go off and hoping that the opponent won't have enough is definitely detrimental. He has way more resources on board. Is he going to realize that and set off his main chain? He's going to go for more. Alright, let's see if this ends up being a good idea. No, never mind. Okay. Um... There's no way I have enough, but okay. Mine's like a 7 double? I mean triple? 8, eight triple. No, 7 triple. No! No way! That's... <laughs> that's so silly. Okay, here's a 3 double. Oh! Okay, he has like a four ready, so I'm gonna build up a counter. Hold on. Oh. Uh, I think I can disable them. Or disable him rather by continuing to harass. So that he can't get down to what he has down there. Actually, no, I'll build up a proper chain. I have the. I have a good position to do so. Oh, wait, this isn't. Oh, that wasn't my trigger. Oops. Well, this is nice, though. I think Margin Time has started kicking in, but I'm not entirely sure. Sometimes I'm not brave enough to go for an extension, so I just set off a main chain. That happens a lot, too. People don't set off their main chains because they're in a bad position to extend. And again, it's just another time where you have to realize, is it actually... Because sometimes it's actually okay to do that. Sometimes you can just set off what you have if it's if it's really good and you think the opponent won't be able to do anything. But much of the time, it's, it's going to be a case of there would have been a way to get out of that tricky situation. All you had to do was like clear this piece or something, right? So it's realizing how you can get out of that situation. Oh, was that a mission? I'm not sure. It's how to get out of that that place so that you're able to extend afterwards. Maybe it's reasonable. Mm, a lot of people have that trouble. I even I used to do it a lot. I'm doing it a lot less now. Um, because I'm finding ways to get out of it. But it's not an easy thing to break out of. You probably have to deal with that for a while, to be honest. Well, so my tail is way higher, which is a bit of a scary place. I need a... Ah, the only green I had was the one that I put on top on the sixth column, that's bad. Ouch. I've noticed even when good players are confident their chain wins, they build a new chain as practice. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's all risk and reward. Um... And even, yeah, that's right, and even when they're, they're losing and they know that their opponent has a much bigger chain, they always try to build a follow-up anyway. Because you know what? One, for one thing, you never know, you could build something that counters. But the other thing is just, you know, it's, it's good practice, and uh, it also just looks better if you're uh, not just giving up straight away. Because a lot of the time, it's just cooler to see you have an, an, an attempted... Chain is better than no chain, right? <laughs> My reds and purples don't run up. I don't think. No, 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 the reds will still do the thing and then the purples will fall off it. Go, get! Go, get! <laughs> Gotta love these counter rounds. I can't be the only one that has watched the Champions trailer at least a hundred times. <laughs> it's great. I've seen it more than once for sure. That's how. Ooh, nice. Good. 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 Nice. Ah, uh, dang. Okay. 
I don't have a lot of oops. It's okay. It counts as in English? Ooh, ooh. That'd be good. Okay, I wanna I wanna hear that too. That is a nice thought. I, I do wanna hear the counts for sure. Trying to find ways to extend my chain, but I'm not in a Again, that, that's one of the reasons I'm not in a good position. It's because I don't have any defenses set up. I might have been safe to set up a main chain because I did have a lot, and sure, I will. Not, not so much. Also, my tail was really nice. I wanted to see if it would work or not. I don't have good follow-ups, that's my problem right now. Okay. I have to try not to die now. I did not die. I think it's gonna try follow up though. Okay. <laughs> Better just set off the main chain then. A good motto to live by is they could always count it. That's right, that's right. So I start a new chain. <laughs> the cool indirect tail never got set off, right? I mm, I really wanted to see that in action. That's okay though. Is it safe to go for this? It is. He seems to be having a lot of trouble building what he has, and he needs like four problems to finish out his main chain. Or just anything that would be usable. Um, uh, oh, he's got, we're building it backwards, that's clever. Okay, but I don't think he'll have enough. Let's see, let's see. Okay, okay. <laughs> Had to go for it. Yeah, okay, nice try from Shiro. Okay. Green's cut, but it's fine. Cutting it there is actually okay because it has a lot of power behind it. Also nice for long. <laughs> Never thought of it that way, but you're right. Expect some counts in one way or another. Exactly. Always do stuff as if you're about to get attacked again. Whoa! <laughs> nice. Is it me or is your three chain line burger? What? <laughs> I'm not really sure. Hmm. Working in front of saving me, but I had a really good defense for him. Oh, he just like my chain. Still. <laughs> I think I had a nice time. Puyo Puyo Burger! New Puyo game. Puyo Puyo Burger. I'm excited. <laughs> we'll be like cranky food friends all over again. 
I know. Oopsies. Didn't mean to put it down. Not quite there. <laughs> also, this is not good. I did not mean to build my chain like this. Oh, it's so smart! I actually made it work. I judged the height differences correctly there. That was really good. I'm so proud of that. I'm really, really proud of that. Can someone please flip that one? I'm really proud. That's awesome. That's so, so good. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, that's right, he has a major trigger for that. Okay. Your stream is dying? Oh no! It's not good. Oh nice, I counted! Okay, we're doing some pretty good stuff here. She could have to go with the McDonald's note. <laughs> It's not three, though I just heard it at seven. What? Oh, the counter line! Good, good, burger! <laughs> burger! <laughs> yeah, the counter line that was being repeated over and over. Oh, did someone any end? Did anyone clip my cool chain? It was such a nice dig. Okay, that's bad, GTL. Everything is okay now. Yeah, again, you, you, you realize that you have a little more lenience once you <laughs> you uh, get up here and are able to make these quote-unquote beginner mistakes, because there's always like ways around them. It's just, again, we advise people not to deal with them just yet, because the solutions can be a bit complicated to explain. And it's best that people just get out of the habit fast, because it's better to avoid it entirely than to make that same mistake over and over and die because of it. 
Oh, I shouldn't have powered it. Should I? Oh no, I think it would have powered it either way. Oh, th those blues weren't, weren't the part that I was concerned about, but it was the other blue. Oops. Bug. <laughs> Hamburger. Hey, Shiro, you're surviving for too long. You can't do that. Oh no. This is really bad for me. You stop him from getting out of this. Oh my gosh. You keep digging. Stop! <laughs> you're being too good at surviving. I'm sorry. That was a really nice attempt from Shiro right there. Never give up. Never give up. Maybe? I don't know. Maybe this is good. Maybe I was actually okay after all. Let's see if sure it counts. Is. Oh, I missed drop. Dang it. What will I do? What sure that is? <laughs> nah, that missed drop was super off. Ah, it missed drop again. I had a way out to. Dang it. Explain more about how L shape is the best form and is used by the coolest people. How how it is the best form? It's just so flexible. Like it's easy to make it often. Oh dear. Okay. It, um... It very often prevents you from running into really, like, yucky situations. Oh, this is really unfortunate for sure, jeez. I'm so sorry. Um... I don't know. You can avoid a lot of bad stuff with it, and it's easy to tail off of too. It's one of the easiest forms to tail off of. I think at this point in time I wouldn't be able to really explain it, but during another, another analysis, when I'm explaining L shape again, I might bring up like why exactly it's used well. Like how I'm kind of... I don't know. Hopefully I'll be able to cover that in more detail if you do would like to see it. Also, also, what do you mean, the coolest people? You used by the coolest people. Excluding me, right? I'm not cool. You should know this. I know. Porsche. Was he able to get out of this one? Ah, I'm fine, I'm fine. All right. Love using it. It's awesome. That means you're super cool. <laughs> well then, GG's Shiro. Thank you as always for the match. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed myself quite a lot. You put up a really wow. You put up a really good fight, honestly. Your uh.
have you been, I don't know if you're around at the moment, but like, have you been training? Your harassers were pretty rough sometimes. They, they really caught me off. I think one of the main things to work on, like, your harassers are now really up there, but it seems that uh, sometimes you're not able to keep up with my chaining, and it might just be because of the forms you use, they're, like, very complicated looking sometimes, and it's hard to extend off of them, but I think that's one of the main things to look out for, try to get your chains up there. Uh, maybe go into some Endless and just, like, quickly make some big chains or something. He was learning your playstyle from what I heard from the commentary. Oh, fascinating. I see, I see. I was just really usually able to catch him off when he's like not entirely ready or if he had a harass ready I'd be able to one-up him sometimes, which is what Aklyv's been doing to me a lot. So I think I figured like I'd try to step up my game in that sense. Trying different harass techniques. Oh, that's fascinating. I definitely have to go have a look at that then and see what he picked up on. Um, also, hi, Grass. Another bad habit when I get counted, I tend to get livid. Just keep expecting to mop the floor with the opponent. Then when the opponent one-ups you, you either get upset about it or learn from it. I'm still stuck in the former currently. You just don't expect that necessary shock when it happens. That's completely understandable. It's, it's just one of those mentality things where you have to know that, like, the opponent can turn on you at any moment. And you need to realize. That's, that's when you need to realize, you know, there's something that they're able to exploit right now, what's happening. Or there's something I'm doing wrong now, that I wasn't doing wrong earlier, what is happening. In that case. Uh, anyway, that's that for now. I do have to get some work done, so I'll be hopping off. I need to play some other one, though. <laughs> I didn't get around to it yesterday, so I think I'll play some today. Might get If I get time, then I'll play some Smash as well. Um, but Puya's been throwing off my screen, my stream schedule, and it's been a little rough, but that's okay. <laughs> um, is it, where is he streaming? Is he streaming on Twitch? And is he going to continue streaming? Then I'll link over to him or host him, depending on if he's on YouTube or Twitch. Uh, ah yes, I'll have a look at this fast. Let's have a look. Go play some Minecraft, hooray. Enjoy yourself. I hope this is the right clip. In a, if I recall correctly, you sealed off this, his secondary green trigger. He had no reds coming and you could use the green blue in column 6 to double. He's having technical difficulties? Hmm. Hopefully he's able to sort it out. Alright. I'll quickly have a look at this. Let me go to the toilet too. Oops. Oh, huh. Oh, that that case was just me getting scared about the fact that he'd be able to get reds um soon. I think I think you're right in saying that. Yeah, I think going for the two double. Oh wait, wait, wait hold on. Let me double check that. It might be more than that. Okay, so I set that off. That two doubles actually a three chain. That's, I think that's the main thing here. That two double is blues, then the reds and the greens clear together, and then the blues will fall. That's a three chain. And that's just scary, because within the time of a three chain, the opponent can usually get, like, maybe three, four, or even five pieces down. And because of that time frame, like, he's potentially able to get, hold on, let's see how many reds he would have had coming. He had it as his, like, fourth piece, right? One, two, three, four-ish. Uh, and so because of that, I was just too afraid of um, setting that off. That's a good question though. It's just realizing how much the chain length would be. It's um, it's one of those weigh the risks things. Offline night right now? Oh, all right, all right. Uh, there you go. That's a good question though. That is a good question. Just passing by to say hello. Oh, hi there, Shinmei. Welcome. Although I'll be heading off around now. My stream died. Oh, that's really. Mm. Do you know what's happening? Like, is it your internet or something? Also, GG's, thank you for uh, the game as always. It's been a long time, but we should play some more sometime soon. Going to bed? Oh, alright, alright. Sleep well. We'll catch you around another time. Yeah, see you next time. I thought it may have been because you didn't know if we would seal the green trigger, and yeah, I thought I may have misread yours. Three chain is long indeed. Yep. Well, at least you caught on to that. Okie doke. Now we go see some people. I need to go host someone. Uh, Twitch. Yeah, I'll be back later if possible. I just need to do some work. 
Ugh, doing work. It's always unpleasant. Mm. The follow count hasn't been increasing so quickly. Oh my gosh. This is insane. <laughs> Do you still have time to play a bit more Yoshi? Or are you good for the night? I really need to improve my harassment game. Oh, sorry. I need to hop off and get some work done. So, um... We should play again soon though, I'll be available... Well, tomorrow I've got stuff on the day after. Maybe on Friday? If, um... Well, I guess it'd be Thursday night for you, but Friday for me, I think. I think I should be available at that time. Um... So yeah, if you're available then, then we could probably do it again. The harass is looking scary, the harasses were so good. Oh, hi there, man! Yeah, unfortunately, like, the, the VOD will be going up, obviously, so that's a thing. Um, it's cool. Get rest, busy day ahead, final exams for college semester. Stream some weird tech once my schedule opens up when the semester it's ends. Alright, well, good luck with all of that as well. Um, yeah, good luck with the exams, hope you rest up well. Uh, no, it's cool, thank you very much for the games, and thank you too, it was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Let's just go see, oh, Rykon's still streaming? Alright, you know where to go? We're gonna go and... <gasps> Never mind, she's not streaming anymore. He just finished. <gasps> Dang. <laughs> That's unfortunate. And Shiro, will you be playing some more as well? Very scary, amazing. <laughs> Aw, thanks so much. I'm not that cool though. That's just you. <laughs> it's all you. Um, will you be playing anymore? Do 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 do. Would we can't stream sadly? Yeah, it's unfortunate. Rack on why I'm guessing because he has popped up other stuff. Gonna have to restart my computer. Oh, righto then, righto then. Uh, and see if that fixes it. Okay, I'll, I'll wait on the host then. If you're uh, able to... I I'll send the host out now, and if you're able to go ahead and start up streaming and it works, then awesome. Just set a host to be there. Even if the channel is offline, it will automatically switch towards you. Um, I think within the next half hour, if you start streaming it, it stays on that host. So, hopefully that works out for you. Um, for now though, I'm gonna head off now. So, see you guys later today with Mother One if you are around for that. If not, I'll catch you around... sometime. Tomorrow I'm out. So... I'm out during the normal morning times, so I'll have to... Well, I do have a battle for tomorrow night. But again, that's the night time, so a lot of you guys might not be around for that either. Around the same time as Mother 1 would be occurring today would be when I'm playing a match tomorrow night. So, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Uh, later clock, bedtime now. Thank you for the stream. I'm guessing a lot of you guys will be heading off to get some sleep now. So, hopefully you all enjoy your sleep. And uh, for the rest of you, as always, I hope you have a great rest of the day or night. Love you guys, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye for now.